All right, let's talk dyeing garments with alcohol ink. This dress is made with pure cotton and responded quite differently than silk. The biggest thing I want you to know is expect to use ample everything. Ink, alcohol, it all gets soaked up with this porous material. My approach for this piece was to work with the fabric the same way I do my painting, so intuitive and spontaneous and lots of momentum. You can see I'm working from a plastic bin, so this method lets me feel unrestricted with movement and I can use a lot of alcohol to emulate that uber softly blended aesthetic my work is so known for. So with that, you need your respirator, fan, and ventilation. I'm following my classic framework for color blending, introducing gorgeous batches of diluted color one by one. If you've taken a workshop with me, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. And if you haven't, come find out. My blend method allows me to create a background that's not overtly saturated and has tons of nuanced color shift. Besides blends, I add ink from the bottle, pour it onto my glove and let it dribble down. I flick it, anything goes. Just think more is more. Can you believe it took three bottles of alcohol to make this? <laughs> Whoa. Once finished painting, I let it dry in the bin overnight. I cluster various parts of the dress together into these cute little rosettes and even let part of it drape over the bin. And here is that stunning staining, fresh out of the bin, pre-wash. Before I wash it, I hot press it. I iron it without any steam. And then it's cold water in the sink, a cup of white vinegar, iodized salt, and I rinse and repeat four times. All right, ta-da! <laughs> I'm loving these gorgeous bursts of surprising color. It's not as nuanced as silk, but I'm getting that elevated and understated boho summer energy for sure. Thank you so much for spending time with this and follow along for more creative insights.